Hey guys, it's Lori. A little bit different background today. I thought it might be nice to switch it up, especially since it's Vlogmas. Why not? So today's video is going to be all about beads. And of all places, I choose to sit in the living room when I've got a ton of beads in front of me and cats everywhere. <laughs> Actually, I don't know where any of the cats are right now, but I'm sure they'll be out here fighting and ramrodding around any second now. <laughs> okay, so this video is about Walmart beads versus Dollar Tree beads. Which is better, which is cheaper, all that good stuff. Okay, so I purchased some beads from the Dollar Tree and I think I have the label underneath them but let me check really quick hang on okay they come in this package right here and there's 20 in a package 20 of the Dollar Tree beads and the Walmart beads I actually purchased as a garland and it's a holiday thing and this is what it looks like and it is uh five dollars and 98 cents for that garland well i cut all you have to do is snip off the end so if you snip off the end of that thing be ready because they're all going to come off <laughs> just so you know have something ready 598 for all those beads and i just snipped the end off and counted every one of them and there's 284 beads at least that's how many was on my garland and for the Dollar Tree, like I said, there's 20 in a pack for a dollar, obviously. So your Walmart beads, I've, I've got sticky notes on the lids of the containers that I have the beads in so that I know, <laughs> so I get it right and I don't want to forget. But the Dollar Tree, oh yeah, I said that. The Dollar Tree beads, 20 pack for a dollar. <laughs> the Walmart beads, 284 for $5.98. So if you were to buy 280 beads, from the Dollar Tree, you would pay $14 for that, as opposed to the 284 for $5.98 train <laughs> at Walmart. So let's take a look at what the beads look like. These beads are from Walmart, so you can see there's a little bit of difference in the colors, which I love, I love that, but not much. Some of them are just a little lighter than the others, I love it. it. It looks more natural that way. This is the Dollar Tree beads. Now, I'm not complaining, so I'm going to put them over here so you can see them better with my light. But I'm not complaining about the Dollar Tree beads at all. I think they're pretty too. So this is the difference though. This is the size right here. Let me pick them up. If I can get a hold of them, I'll show you. Here's the Walmart and here's the Dollar Tree. So Dollar Tree beads are a bit smaller. A little bit lighter in color as well so if you know how big these little Dollar Tree wooden beads are um, they're actually I usually find them on like one of those plastic strips hanging somewhere in the the area with like the hair stuff that's where I usually find these usually towards the end cap but anyway this is the size difference if you know what size those Dollar Tree beads are because I don't know millimeter wise I don't know so I couldn't even begin to guess to be honest with you but I think the hole in the middle is, I mean, that's important too, depending on what you're gonna do with it. But the hole in the middle is about the same. It's a decent hole, like if you're gonna make a garland or something like that, it's good. So it's a good size. So yeah, whoops, wrong lid for my sticky note. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys and kind of compare those beads and tell you that those garlands, if you cut those apart just for the beads, they are a much better deal. That's a really good price for beads. And like I said, I'm not sure of the size millimeter wise, but I know it's a good price. So because I do have a lot of other beads and you might say, well, they were already strung on a garland. Why would you cut them apart? That seems silly because I wanna use them for other smaller projects. So, and I already have actually, so um, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to share that with you about the beads in case you were wondering. And if you weren't, well, now you know, assuming you watched. And if you did, thank you so much. And I will see you tomorrow.